Hey guys, so um, I did an outfit of the day earlier today before I left, and um, I did an outfit of the day on what I'm wearing, obviously, and I went to a baby shower. So yeah, it was fine, and um, now I'm back, and it's raining, and I love the rain. I'm so excited, but it's nighttime, and um, so plans out the window, people bail um, when it rains, so I stopped by Starbucks on my way back, got got me a warm little drink that I'm going to be sipping throughout and um, I'm here to make quite a few videos because I've been lacking in videos lately and I promise I'll put at least one or two of them up today um, and then the rest will be throughout the week because I'm going to have a lot of makeup work to do. I got really sick again. I got really sick twice in a row which was awful. I got really sick for like a week and a half and I didn't go to school and then I went to school for a week and then I got really sick again so um, it was pretty horrible. This is making my hands so warm. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to have way, way, way more makeup work than last time. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm not going to have time to film next week, so these are all going to be pre-recorded videos. Um, I'm probably going to just be wearing this throughout the video unless I get really cold and I change into my PJs, which will probably happen around the second video. So, um, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, also, I'm not wearing any makeup because I didn't wear any makeup today. I was just wait, lazy and it's rainy and so, you know, whatever. Um, but it's fine. I think it is, you know, good for girls to do um, videos without makeup and without, you know, everything done up and stuff because it's who you are, you know, so, um. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Review on the, the, the uh, uh. Today I'm doing a review on this straightener, and this is the um, Conair Infinity Pro Flat Iron. Ooh, Flat Iron. And it's not hot right now, so I can touch it. So I did a review on the curling iron. I put that up a couple of days ago, maybe last week. And um, I said that I do have this one. If you want me to do a review on it, I would. So here I am doing the review on it. So I don't know if they have a Infinity Blow Dryer because apparently they have a Connor Infinity Curling Wand and a straightener. They might have a blow dryer. I don't know. I don't have it. Um, but I do have the straightener. So um, I really like the straightener. I've been using it over my GVP, my GHD, and my um, InStyler lately. Um, first I was using my InStyler, then I got the GHD, and I was like, oh my gosh, the GHD is way better. And then I got the GVP, and I was like, the GVP is like a quarter of the price, and it's way better than the GHD, in my opinion. So then I stopped using my GHD, and I look really white and washed out. So I stopped using my GHD, and now I'm stopping using my GH, my GVP, and using the Infinity, which I love because it's not GHD, GVP, not abbreviations, it's just a name. It's called Infinity, and I love it. Um, so it's a really nice kind of black, sleek straightener with this little silver part on the um, kind of grip on the top. And, um, yeah, it looks like this. It has really, really long, um, what are these called? Plates, blades, whatever they're called, plates. Um, they're really long, and they're quite skinny. But um, what I do anyways is I just take very wide but very thin pieces of hair um like that's a wide piece of hair but it's really not that thick at all and that's kind of you know how you're supposed to use the straightener because you can do a lot of hair at a time but don't if it's thick it's not really going to straighten it through but if it's just a thin piece of hair that's super wide um this is gonna work pretty fast because you can literally take a piece of hair that is that wide um and it'll look really good um so uh yeah i totally am obsessed with this it doesn't like move it doesn't move from side to side like the other ones do um but i don't really understand why they need to move side to side i guess it would be helpful if you're curling with it if they kind of swivel um but i don't curl with this i've never tried curling with this i've tried it a couple of times it works pretty good um but i don't like curling my hair with flat irons um because I've been using my Infinity Curling Iron lately, um, which I love. Um, but yeah, anyways, besides the point. Um, <clears throat> as a straightener, this works incredibly well. Um, it's very nice, and I straightened my hair with it um, yesterday. And you can see, it straightens your hair really nice, really sleek. Um, it gets it really flat if you want it really super straight without the volume on top or whatever I even straightened my bangs straight down just because I was um cutting them and if you want the video that I did on um cutting your bangs not cutting trimming your bangs um 
and then I'll put it up if you kind of like the way they look. Um, but they're not really styled. They're just kind of flat ironed, completely straight, just so I could cut them. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so okay, so um, it has the little heat dial here, and it doesn't have number. I mean, it doesn't have degrees, but it has numbers. It has all the way from one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Probably not. It has all the way from 1 to, I believe, 30. Yep, 30 is the highest it goes. And there's numbers in between, and it kind of, like, clicks, and you go, okay, if you're on 30, you go 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, la di da da until you get to 1. I'm pretty sure there's enough clicks. Um, it, but there's also numbers in between. So it goes 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it goes in increments of 5. Um, which I guess you could, like, Google it and be like, 30, no, the number 30 is something. I think it goes up to 425 degrees, which is pretty hot. Um, the hottest straightener that they sell, like, to people in general that you can kind of buy yourself, um, like, over-the-counter type thing, um, is, I think, 450 degrees. So, 425 is pretty good, and the price on this is pretty amazing. Um, I actually got this at Costco because they had a really good deal on it. Um, I think it was around $25. I'll put the price right here. Um, be sure, but it's it's under $35, I'm going to say. The curling iron is $30. I believe this is around the same price. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so the little straightening blades end here. And there's another little extra piece, which actually does not get that hot. Um, the, the piece itself doesn't get hot. The tip doesn't get hot. But what does kind of get hot is the steam. Um, if there's product in your hair and your hair is letting out steam, the steam can kind of burn you if you're holding your fingers right there. Um, the plastic doesn't get hot, but the steam coming out of your hair, out of the flat iron, might be what might burn you. Um, but, you know, yeah. Anyways, um, so that's pretty much it. You know, it has the swivel right here. Nice long cord. Um, heats up pretty quickly, I would say, definitely under a minute, um, so, yeah, it's very nice, um, I like it, I like it a lot, um, and I definitely do think it compares to the highest, um, quality straightening iron that I have is the GHD, ow, the GHD, um, Special Edition Dark is the one that I have, the black one, and this definitely compares to it for, I don't know, like, an eighth of the price probably um so yeah I really enjoy this um if you guys are looking for a new straightener and you're thinking if you want to splurge or save I would definitely say um save and get this over you know a Chi or a GHD I do not own a Chi but I do own a GHD and I talked about this in my other straightener review and um supposedly GHDs are better than Chi's um so I'm pretty sure that this is um, if it's better than a GHD, it should be better than a Chi. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll talk to you later. And um, yeah, love y'all so much. And um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to go film a couple more videos. And I'll try to put at least two up by today. And I'll film probably a lot. So stay tuned for that. Um, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye, guys.